So this is the last session of uh, Unicraft Summer Workshop and uh, in the last session we looked a bit in the uh, debugging Unicraft applications. Today we'll use that uh, debugging that we learned in the last session to port an application. We already did some porting on the third session when we created a simple docker file and a craft file and then we used craft build and craft run to start a simple application. We use uh, hello world and nginx and stuff like that. Today we're going to look a bit more in depth on how to do this with more complex applications. So as a reminder what we did in the third session, we basically created a docker image of uh, that contains our application. Let's say uh, let's say we start with nginx, but we did something simpler than uh, and then we uh, attach to that docker container and we use LDD to get all the dependencies. And then all these dependencies we copy in a docker file and create a minimal file system that then runs on top of Unicraft. This works for simple applications but uh, some more complex applications will need more stuff than just what LDD brings. So this again if we do an, a hello world, this will suffice. There will be like three, four dependencies here and that's all. But if you use, uh, and you'd see to the ex example with Nginx, uh, these applications won't be enough, these uh, dependencies. Uh, the application will start, but it won't work properly. And we're gonna look at the debug messages mainly to see what's missing and to see what to add. This is very useful uh, if you want, let's say, you want an application that uses some sort of programming language that we don't have yet supported in the catalog and you want to do it yourself. Or again, if you want to use, I don't know, a da database or something else that again is not already ported by us in the catalog. So for the final project, this might come in handy. So let's start with, uh, with Nginx. There is a, Nginx is already ported, but we're going to start with this as uh, an example. So this is already here. Uh, let me just do this. So there is already a Docker file here, but we're going to ignore this. We're going to just delete it and start it from scratch. Everything else is fine. We can uh, just leave them there. Uh, we won't need a make file or anything else. So just what's in the catalog repository is fine. Let's also remove what I already have built here. And again, remember the way we do this is we run a Docker image that already has Nginx built. So if you go on Docker Hub, and we search for nginx we're gonna see uh, quite a lot of containers here we can just pick one of them and uh, and start with in our case we pick the 125.3 mm -hmm. we run this if you don't, uh, if you didn't run it before, it will uh, pull it, but I already have it pulled, so it just, uh, uh, it will just attach to it. And here we have the, uh, the Nginx executable. So you can see that we have the Nginx command that starts the process and uh, we can do which Nginx to see where the executable is placed. And then we can do an LDD and find a dependency. And these are dependencies for Nginx. Again, this is nothing new. We did all of this in the third session. Now we stop this container, we remove it, and then we create a Docker file. And we say from this as build, and another from scratch. And we do this copy. So we copy the binary. We saw the location of the binary it was here. We copy it from build. 
we also copy the libraries that we know nginx will use uh, if you skip this again you'll get some errors and you can do it later but uh, we can do it because we know it's going to use them and then all sorry all of these libraries let's just copy them like this and paste it uh, here so we have them close We copy all of them one by one. I don't want this. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's copy this six times and change these so we do this for every library that we are sure engine exists It's it's interesting how you are copying the entire path without going into a visual mode of. Uh, you mean how I copied the the file? Yeah, name? the path of the library. Uh, yeah, I use uh, so the command I'm typing is Y to copy, and then I say copy until the first space. So T and space it says copy to space. I can use, for example, I don't know the same Y2 and let's say close parentheses and they will copy until the first close parentheses here and so on. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, sure. And I think I have this one twice. So, uh, okay, now we have the loader. And that should be it. So these are the things that we know for sure Nginx will use. And we can create a file system with those. And this is how we always do, do this. We start with what we know. And we then try to see uh, if they are working or not. If we build this and run, it will fail most likely. And we can actually enable some debug messages in craft file. So if we open the craft file from here, that is the one from the catalog. So the one uh, you have access to also. There are some lines here for debugging that are commented. We're gonna un uncomment the S3 one. So we want to have uh, debug messages, not all of them because there will be too many. We just want the S trace debugging messages uh, to be enabled. So we do this and we run craft build. And this will need to build our uh, minimal file system. And then to build the Unicraft application. And this might take some while. And then when we'll try to run it, most likely we'll try to open a file and you will not find it and we'll see a message like this one that we talked about yesterday. And then we'll know what else the application needs.
okay and we're done and now if we do craft run you can see that we have the s trace messages enabled so this is the debug messages and the application fails and it says okay open this file file failed no such file of direct so we basically have these uh, three lines that are important to us it tries to open a file it, uh, it's nginx nginx.conf no such file and then it printed the error message so this means that we need an nginx config file which makes sense nginx needs some uh, uh, some way for us to specify the bug configuration you will need it in a conf file in our case we already have a config file you can change it you can add anything you want there but we have it here already so we're just gonna copy this this is not present in the uh, in the docker or even if it is uh, we don't want that we want our config file so we're gonna copy uh, from our local uh, local config directory. I think piano is conf and next.conf and we'll copy in the location that it searches for it. So we're gonna do this. And now we copy the nginx uh, uh, config file. We do again a craft build and then we'll need to run again. This will take some time because every single change we do, we need to build again and then we need to run again and so on. And it will be a lot of steps. craft oh, okay it was much faster now because it was already built so it has some cache in there now if we run again we can see that it opened the config file and it, it was fine it returned a uh, file descriptor so it found the file but then we had another uh, error message that tells us that this function failed and it failed because it tried to look for uh, the password file so it tried to look for this file didn't find it what this function does you can check the manual it will just get the password file entry so it looks into the password file and also looks into the group file and uh, it returns the entry from there. So we, we also need these files uh, for Nginx to run. This is fine, we can just copy them too. We'll copy them from the container, etc password and etc group. build again we will create a new file system and then we run again and see what other errors we get now we find another error so this worked fine it found the password file it also found the group file and now it looks for another file nginx mime.types it doesn't find it it gives us an error again we do the same thing we copy that one 
and it was this one. So pretty much everything we need is already in the nginx docker container so we just take it from there what is not in there and we can add it are uh, configuration files some source files for example we want to serve a web page that web page that we need to write ourselves uh, will not be in the docker container we need like the config file to have it somewhere and in our case again that's already there it's in the www root so stuff like this that's uh, configurable by us we need to write ourselves everything else should be already in the docker container now we run again okay and we get past that so this again worked we got past that error now it looks for another uh, another directory tries to create this directory so probably you will need the var cache nginx directory so we need to also copy that and so on I have all of them listed here so uh, I'll just copy all of them because I don't want to run uh, to build and run another five times for nothing so again this time it looks for this uh, cache directory after we would have ad added this line it would have looked for this one and then this one and then this one and so on now we if we add all of them and we build again Now it builds what should be the final file system. Now hopefully it will work fine. And if we run this again, uh, we can see that we have an error. We try to open a log file this might be a unicraft error so let's let's see if we copy that so warlock nginx okay yeah so this is a bit of a more complex problem if we look under varlog nginx and we do this you can see that these ones are uh, symbolic links and uh, unfortunately Unicraft has some issues uh, with decoding symbolic links so that's why it fails in order to fix this we can uh, we can just remove these files and then we will create them again and they will be fine so if here oh sorry if here we do this I think log so it just copies the directory without the files in there I think this should work let's see If I remove those files now when nginx starts it should create them and if it creates them then they will all work fine if it had them already there it tried to open them and uh, that didn't work so let's see now okay now it looks like there is no no other problem here so it's fine it's listening to some port now 
it's waiting in any form to get the request. We can't request it because we we don't have any access to it. To get access to it, we need to connect to a port. So we do minus p eighty eight and then eighty, and this will connect the port eighty from the container. So from the sorry from the unikernel. So port eighty of nginx will uh, get mapped to port eighty eighty on our machine, and if we do this, and now we curl port eighty eighty, this will work fine. So now nginx works. You can see that it gets a four hundred four not found. So we get a not found page because we didn't add any pages in nginx, but the request was uh, was successful. Although it gave us this error, www root index that HTML is not found, because again it searched for uh, an index page to serve to us. To fix this, again we need a simple uh, HTML. We have this one already here, so we're just going to copy this one. So like we copied the config file. We want to copy the index.html and to place it under uh, root index.html. And now we do again a make build, uh, craft build, sorry, hopefully for the last time. Okay, now if we run again with the same uh, port mapping and we curl again, now we get a full page. So even if we go into the browser with the local host, this will open the Nginx page. So now Nginx works fine, everything uh, works as expected. Again, we can add extra stuff. For example, we get another error that our uh, uh, the root directory doesn't have a, an icon if you want you can add a, an icon that's fine then again you probably get some other extra features that are uh, not found yet but again these are extra features so nginx work works it worked even before without the index file so even if you now get some uh, messages like this these are extra features that you can add if you want but the functionality is there. So now we created a Docker file. This is how it looks. We started from what we knew that Nginx uses, basically the output from LDD. The leaves, again, you could have leave this out and you would have uh, seen an error message and add them later, it's fine. The executable, and then one by one, we took every error message that uh, the unicorn printed and just copy the required files there. And also some files that we have written ourselves, like the config file, and, some, and again, everything else that you need to add yourself for the application to work your way. Any questions so far? We'll wait a bit here, just, for, uh, uh, just to make sure that it's clear for everyone. Okay, then if this is clear, uh, you have a link to the session in the thread. Again, the session is not rendered on the website 
because Alex is not here to render the website, it's in the this markdown file. Go through it, start with the thing that I did, so start with nginx, and then go for node and memcached. Again, these are already ported, but what uh, you should do is get in the directory, remove the docker file, so just delete everything, or not everything, just the docker file, sorry, and then try to go, uh, uh, try to do it from scratch for both of them. If you get stuck at some point, you can look in the docker file for hints, so you can look into the already ported uh, docker files, just to get a hint of what's needed next, but ideally you have the same flow, start with a simple container i gave you the containers that you need to start from here so just the docker run as we did before here and replace the container name find the executable for node and memcached run ldd copy all the output from ldd and then try to run it uh, using craft and see how it works Again, very important, in the craft files, you always need to uncomment this line to see the extremist messages, because otherwise probably you get some errors that you don't know where they're coming from. So uncomment the extremist line from both the node and the memcached craft file, and start from there. Again, any questions? Most of the record.